Hi, my name's Barry. I had several requests for uh, a how-to lesson on the fun version of somebody that I used to know. It's fun is uh, a new group. They're very good. They did an awesome cover. And again, I've had several requests, so I thought I'd give it a try. After all, I am the unofficial guitar instructor, I guess, for somebody that I used to know. Hi, my name's Barry. I want to show you how to play Gautier's Somebody That I Used To Know. Uh, this is my own way of playing it. Let's get started. Uh, if you haven't seen the um, Somebody's a YouTube Orchestra video by Gautier, check it out. It's really cool. And uh, the how-to video has also made it on stage live with Gautier. lucky that I've gotten to get up there and virtually play somebody I used to know with Gautier himself. It's amazing. He's a great guy. Anyway, the song is uh, very easy to play the way uh, Fun does it. And it's what makes it hard to figure out is that it's tuned down a half a step. And the guitar player is, I'm sorry I don't know his name, but the guitar player is very good. He's very precise. Um, the way he plays the chord, uh, the, the main chord, it's a D, a D minor, and when he plays it, he keeps his pointer finger on, and so he ends up playing like this, and it makes it kind of hard if you're like me and got all kinds of arthritis in your hands, and you, it's difficult to hold that chord. So I've come up with an easier way. When he plays it, he never strums the bottom string. So you can leave the bottom string completely out, and then you can just change your grip. It's like playing a D chord with your middle finger taken off and used up here to, to do the rhythm with. So it's like a D without it. So again, it's a D minor chord, and then you're gonna play another D minor down the neck, which is a bar chord, a regular bar chord, except you move down all of these fingers. And that's a D minor, and it's in the fifth fret, so it's just like playing an A, but again down, and that gives you your D minor. Uh, the next two chords and last two chords really uh, are here and here. So you're playing the sixth fret uh, and the uh, eighth fret, and it's a standard bar chord. So this is your D minor, and you come up here and let's see that would be a uh, C sharp, and then this would be a B flat. So you've got this D minor, you've got this D minor, C sharp, and a B flat. And of course, because it's tuned down half a step, they all change. This is actually a C sharp. But to, for the sake of clarity, we'll just leave it at what the name of the chords would normally be in those frets, in case you don't tune it down. The song starts with him picking the fourth string steadily, and then he reaches over and plays the piano part. so on. Now, I don't play piano. <laughs> Never played piano before. So I got this little keyboard and decided to see if I could figure out how they play it. And I've only been playing it since yesterday, so bear with me. Um, and of course the tricky part is being able to continue to play here while you're playing over here. So on my first excursion into playing keyboard, I decided to do something where I have to play with both hands, one on the guitar and one on the piano. <laughs> anyway, but it's really, it's not all that difficult. Um, you know, I guess if you've been playing guitar a long time, it's not that difficult. Some of you might find it hard, but as I was picking out the notes, learning it yesterday, I just held my hand against my leg and just continued to pick while I was learning how to do it to try to force myself to just get used to this and ignore it. So again, it's just a steady little beat. And then you hit the wrong one. 
Now at the end of the video, I'll go back and show you all the piano parts because there's three of them. They're all um, fairly easy. But I'll show you exactly which keys you're hitting. Once you play the that part of the introduction, then he comes back up. So when you've played that last note, and they started singing at that point. Now and then I think of when we were together. Now and then I think of when we were together. And again, this is the D chord, and you're taking your middle finger and you're hitting the on the uh, the second string in the fifth fret. Well, the fifth string, I'm sorry, the fifth string in the third fret. I'm sorry. You're taking your middle finger and you're hitting the fifth string in the middle fret here, and then picking open the string below it. him play it in the video he's, he's really pumping that he's getting it really sharp and again he's muting a little bit with his palm where you're just resting your palm right on the very back part of the strings and it's not so much that it completely deadens them it's just resting it lightly so some you still get some sound but it's a muted sound not a totally muted sound Anyway, that's it. That's all he's doing. Now I pick a little different, so I tend to do something like that, but it's really not necessary the way they play it. As the song picks up, well, he'll do this where he's getting a little, a little up strum in there. And you just have to play with it to get the rhythm for it because he, he doesn't strum it exactly the same every time. Um, I tried to get the perfect movement for it and it kept moving around a little bit and I kind of like the fact that it moves around a little bit. It gives it more feel. It's not so so boxed in. So it really doesn't matter <clears throat> where you do it there or how you play that louder part. You can you can strum up to pick it up or you can do it a quick down. And then just get a little more volume by lifting your hand off somewhat. That's the only tricky part of the, the rhythm in the song. When he slows back down to play the piano, he just gets quiet and concentrates on just that. And as soon as he hits that last, To the next verse. You can get addicted to a certain kind of sadness. It's just like the first one, that steady beat. To the end, always the end. Then that little double strum. When you found that we could not make sense, where you said that we would still be friends. The only thing that changes here is the very last part. Instead of just ending it with, he walks up the neck. I'll admit that I was glad it was over. And he just goes. And that's the third fret, fifth fret on the second string, or well, the fifth string. And you jump into your chorus. But you didn't have to cut me out. Make it like it never happened and that we were nothing. I don't even need. And the whole time he's doing that, it's just a stiff. starts picking it up a little and does a little double strum in there. Once it gets to the somebody that I used to know and just keeps going loud and hard, the strum picks up speed. ends a 
abruptly, and that's kind of a difficult part because as soon as you do the, you've got to start doing that pick again. And play the, mess up, play the piano part. The part where the female voice comes in, all he's doing is this. Now and then you think of all the time you screwed me over. But in me believing it was always something that I'd done. Then right at this point, I don't want to live that way. Leading into every word you say. And that's all he's playing. And listening to it, I can't tell if if he's muting this string by letting his middle finger is, is again pressing on the fifth string in the third fret but I think it's resting on the uh, next string down so the fourth string is being muted and that's all he's doing if you watch the video it looks real intense because he's you said that you could let it go. keeping that, that beat going because it's kind of difficult to get the right sound there you really gotta gotta focus on it and then it just ends used to know and right back up into the chorus that's pretty much the whole song it's uh, very straightforward and very simple so now we'll move on and do the uh, keyboard part keyboard part remember you're the entire time you're picking right there and you're you're on that uh, fourth string and you've got your hand slightly muting it. Open, slightly muted. The introduction um, is played now on the key my keyboard here. I don't know anything about pianos. I don't know how many more steps this is supposed to go up. Uh, but in one point we're going to need to go past the keys that I have. But we've got a, a fix for that. Um, you could probably retune this thing but that I'm not a piano player, I don't know how. The uh, rhythm is simple. To make this clear, I'm not going to keep trying to pick this. Uh, I'm going to put the guitar down. Uh, this is a nice little beginner piano and it lights up when you when you press on it. The melody is, is very simple to play. You're starting on this uh, black key and on this, I guess we're seventh black key to the end of my keyboard. And you can, you know, Click on yours till you find that particular sound, you know where we're at. The next one, and this is the very first round at the beginning, you play that part, and you play most of that part again, and then you end it with. And that's when the singing starts. Now and then I think of. So all together. The second time this is played in the song is just before the female voice starts in and when you play it the second time the ending is just a little bit different you still have the beginning but instead of that part leave that part out you're going to play This is the, the key that should have been played up here off the end of the piano. So any of you that have larger keyboards or can adjust these so that you can move it down, you would hit the higher note here. The good thing is this note sounds so close to the this note that when you play along with them, you can play it with this note and it sounds just fine. So in, and you would hit the black key. That would be right there. but this suffices fine. The keyboard part that's played in the middle of the two verses, uh, the most recognizable part I think is it's 
very easy to play. Very easy to play. I'll play it again, try to keep my fingers out of the way so you can uh, write these keys down or, or, or copy it. Once you get it, it's easy. If I can play it with my left hand, my gosh. And that's pretty much it. That's the entire song minus the really great singing and the, all the talent that goes with it. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I will uh, answer your questions as best I can as always. Thanks. All you're going to do is